All right, guys, we're going to have a new lesson, size of equal groups. We're still talking about a division, but we're going to use models to explore the meaning of sharing division. The first thing we need to do is look at the word divide. We know that when you multiply, you're putting equal groups together, but when you divide, you are separating the number into equal groups. So that's important to know. We're separating out into equal groups with division. With multiplication, we're putting the equal groups together, adding them together. But with division, we are separating them, a big number, into equal groups. So let's look at this first problem. Hector has 12 rocks from Carlsbad Caverns in New Mexico. He puts an equal number of his rocks into each of three boxes. How many rocks are in each box? And I gave you a little picture of Carlsbad Caverns because, you know, I'm kind of partial to anything from New Mexico. So let's look at their questions. What is the problem asking us to find? Well, when you take a look at that, it says how many rocks are in each box. So we know that we're going to look for the number of rocks. What information are we going to use? We have 12 here, and the 12 is equal to the number of total rocks. And then we have three. Three is equal to the number of boxes that he has to put the rocks in. So let's take a look at what we have. We have the 12 rocks right here. So here's the 12 rocks, okay? And then we have three boxes because that's how we're going to model. We're going to draw the three boxes and then we're gonna put the 12 rocks into the boxes. We're going to share them out equally. So let's go ahead and start that. Let's put one rock in here. Let's put one rock in here. Then we're going to share another rock here and another rock here. We are, not, are we done with our rocks? Nope. So let's keep going. Another rock here. One for you. One for this box. Another one for this box. For this box. For this box. Are they still equal? Because we need to make sure they remain equal groups. Now one for this box, and this box, and this box. So now we have shared them into equal groups. We have how many in each box? We have four here, four here, and four here. So our answer is, looking for how many rocks are in the box, so our answer is four rocks in each box right? Four rocks in each box. Okay. Now let's look at this table. We're going to use counters or draw a quick picture to make equal groups and then we're going to complete the table. So first let's look at this. How many counters will we use for this problem right here? It says here's the counters and here's 10 and then we need to put these 10 counters into two equal groups. So let's say, let's see how we can do that. Let's use um, we have two equal groups, so I'm going to draw myself two equal groups. And then I'm going to count out ten of my counters. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. How many do I end up with in each group? And that's what I'm going to put right here. We have one, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. Five, So I end up with five in each group. So 10 counters into two equal groups gives me five in each group. Let's look at the next one. The next one we're going to look at is this one, 24 counters, and we're going to put them into six equal groups. So the first thing I need to do is draw my six equal groups. So I'm going to draw one, two, three, four, five, and six. Now I need to put the counters in. So how many counters am I going to count out? 24. One, two, three, four, five, six. Am I done? Nope. Seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24. How many are in each group? 
Let's count one, two, three, four. Remember I said you have to count twice to make sure that all of your groups have the same number in each group. If they're not equal groups, it's not division. Just like if it's not equal groups, it's not multiplication. So how many are in each group? We have four in each group. So with 24 counters into six equal groups, that gives us four in each group. Okay, let's go with our last one. We have 12 counters and we have to divide them into four equal groups. So we need to find out how many are going to be in each of those groups. What do we do first? We draw out our four equal groups. So I'm going to draw one, two, three, four equal groups. And then I have to put how many in each group? I don't know yet, but I'm going to count out 12 of them. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. All right, am I done? Yes, I've counted out all 12 of my counters. How many does that put in each of my groups? Let's count. One, two, three. Do I have the same number in each group? One, two, three. One, two, three. And one, two, three. So that puts three counters in each group. 12 counters divided into four equal groups gives me three in each group. So as we look back at our lesson, let's look and see, did we answer this question? Did we learn how to do this? Did we explore using models to, to, just, to determine the meaning of sharing division? Yes, we did. We used models to share out the big number into equal groups.